Hey guys, Heavy here, Brand Main. So today I'm going to be talking about the new runes. So a couple of you have asked me to do that. So here we go. I'm going to tell you what I think the best runes are for Brand and in particular the sort of playstyle that you're going to play with Brand. So first of all, I'm not going to go for all of them. I'm just going to tell you the main two. I'm definitely going Sorcery as my primary, Domination as my secondary. So I'll talk you through what ones I'm going to take. So I looked at all of them. First of all, we got Summon Airy. Uh, this one looks kind of cool. The damage is pretty decent for like an early, early sort of damage. Like 10 damage is quite a lot at the start, and especially if it's something you can land a lot. So I thought about taking this one. Um, then we had Arcane Comet. I imagine this is very easy to dodge. So I'm not going for that because I imagine at sort of diamond level, most people will dodge it. If you're sort of lower, Arcane Comet might be worth it, but not, not for me. So uh, what I'm going to choose is Phase Rush. Hitting an enemy champion with three un unique attacks or abilities within two seconds grants movement speed. So this is going to be super useful in a team fight. Um, Brand's all about landing three unique abilities. So as soon as you, well, not necessarily, not necessarily unique, but as soon as you can land three abilities, you get your passive off. So Phase Rush is quite strong because also Brand has quite a lot of opportunities to land his abilities. So his um. W can hit many people, his E can hit many people, his ult can hit many people, and so can his passive. And then, so you actually have five abilities that can hit people, and five, no, three of them are AoE abilities. So it makes it incredibly likely that you're going to land phase rush. And the uh, movement speed is a huge movement speed, so that can get you to completely reposition in a team fight. So I actually think this is really strong because quite often, once Brand has done his abilities, he moves out straight away of the team fight and then comes back in a little bit. Or you can chase down. So Phase Rush is this first choice. Next, level two, we have we have Nullifying Orb. Um, I didn't really like this one because it's a magic shield. So that is quite good if you're against sort of bursty people but we're not always against AP mid so this one you might want to sort of swap your room page depending on who you're against if you're against someone like an Annie or something it might be worth it but what I'm actually going to choose is mana flow band every 60 seconds next ability you use has mana or energy refunded and 10% of you missing mana or energy so this is a really good one because Brand does have some mana issues he's got quite high mana cost so I'm thinking this will be good I don't know if they're going to change Brand they've sort of threatened to do so if they do change Brand and make some of his mana costs less or give him a bit of mana back I may not choose this one I may go back and choose something like that or this maybe but this is all about CDR. I don't actually think CDR is that great on brand. I know a lot of people run it, but not for me. I like to sort of make sure my abilities land in a team fight and then so the CDR isn't that useful. Um, right, next we have Transcendence, Clarity and Absolute Focus. Which one was I going to choose? It wasn't this one because this is more CDR. Don't really like CDR as I just said. We have Clarity. So this one is increased movement speed. Uh, this is the one I'm going to go for because I like to roam. Uh, Brand is an AoE champion and early game going bot lane is so strong, especially with your ultimate. You can go bot lane and get a couple of kills. So you want to be going there quite a lot. So that's what I'm choosing. So I'm definitely going clarity. And I'm not choosing absolute focus even though... Or am I? Oh, I did think about this one. So this one is really strong because 40 ability power is a lot. But then the question is, will you have it? Uh, so I'm actually, I'm an R-ing. I haven't made a final decision between these two yet. Because 40, 40 ability power is quite a lot. Except for Brand's AP scalings aren't amazing. So this one, I may go Clarity. I may go Absolute Focus. I'd like to know what you think in the comments section. You think is more worth it. I'm just going to pick Clarity for now. But I'm very, choose to choose, uh, very close to choosing Absolute Focus. Uh, there's no question what you're going for this one. This one's easy pick, easy pick. Brand. Your next ability hits champions on sets champions on fire. Yeah, you want that one. <laughs> just um, just setting people on fire. And the good thing about about this ability is, it's with brand in particular. You've got a, like a secret buff. The cooldown is going to be reduced. So it says here the cooldown's 20 seconds. Uh, I realise you can't see me pointing, <laughs> but uh, the mouse is there. So 20 seconds. Um, the cooldown's effectively reduced for brand because once you've uh landed some abilities and like your passive will burn for obviously quite a few seconds afterwards so 
effectively, say like um, your passive is going to burn them for like four more seconds or something like that, and you cast this uh, this spell once, uh, you've already used it once, and then 16 seconds later you've got you, you hit him again and you've got like four seconds of burn or whatever it is. That's effectively, as soon as you, the 20 second cooldown's off, hopefully your passive will send this, reignite this burn on them. So hopefully the Scorch will be quite a good one for Brand. Uh, movement speed is a good one, but I didn't fancy it because I obviously the burn's sort of better than it. And this is just AP. It's not that great. We didn't want that one. So that is the main set we went for Sorcery. And next we're going for Domination. Right, and we got a big choice here. I really like Zombie Ward. It's really inviting. It makes me want to choose it because it sounds OP. But then you have to really... So what Zombie Ward does, obviously you can read, but you get a ward when you kill a ward. The question is, how often do you kill a ward? So if you're a support or something, this is great. Uh, if you've got support, or if you've got zombie brand skin, maybe that would be good too, but no, 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 no. You don't actually kill wards that much, so I don't think this one's going to pay off that much, especially when there are some better options. Ghost Poro, I'm really interested in this one. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. This is one of the ones you're going to have to see how it works out and choose whether or not you want it. Um, I haven't seen it in play, obviously, because it hasn't been, hasn't been released yet, but I'm thinking this will be one to, one to watch. I'm not sure yet. This is just a little bit of ability power. It's not really going to be worth it. Uh, this one. This is what we're going. Cheap shot. Damaging champions with impaired movement or actions. Does true damage. So that's great because... Uh, basically, we got Crystal Scepter. Uh, Crystal Scepter is like a key brand... Brand... Uh, item. Also, you've got the Q, which impairs their movement. And the slow from your R as well. So you've got quite a lot of opportunities to impair movement. So you've got quite a lot, of, a lot of opportunities to get this off. Also, really short cooldown. So you should be uh, using this quite a lot. So that's definitely our first one. Next we have uh, a heal. We don't particularly fancy that. Well, I don't anyway. This one, we don't have any dashes or leaps. Because if you play Brand, you know he's immobile. Again, we had more healing. I didn't fancy any, any of that. That's not really for us. Uh... CDR, that wasn't it. Oh yeah, so we didn't want that. So we chose movement speed. Out, out of combat movement speed. This is what we want. Again, roaming bot lane. This is why we chose clarity here. It's because going bot lane is super useful. And movement speed just helps you anyway. It's why everyone builds boots. Because movement speed is broken. It's a really strong stat. It gets you loads of things and it's hard to quantify. But we all know it's strong, which is why we all bought or we'll buy, buy it, buy it, yeah, we all buy it. Right, so this is my rune set. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you like this. If you want to make any changes to it, feel free to, because I think your rune should always suit your playstyle. These are set up specifically for my playstyle. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you like this. Be sure to check out my brand guide and some of my other videos. Hit that like and subscribe button if you found this useful. Sorry for my stuttering, but good luck in the league.